Well, when disaster strikes, every second counts. That is why it's so important for our firefighters to make sure they're always ready. And one way they prepare is the Firefighters Challenge. Ten on your side, photojournalist Andrew Robinson tells us about the importance of this friendly competition. No cinders or smoke here at Mount Trashmore, despite the fire engine, but things are heating up. Go! For the first time since 2019, the Firefighter Challenge returns. Through this challenge, it shows them, it shows people the, the rigors of, of their job. You know, they have to go through these five essential functions, and it's, it's intense. It's a competition to translate their everyday job skills into a quest for glory. So good at their job that they've turned it into a sport. It keeps us physically fit. Um, we know that the number one leading cause of death in firemen is cardiac issues. So staying out here and staying fit for this competition keeps us fit for our job. It's been a grueling two minutes for Virginia Beach's Markel Davis for the last 13 years. First off, we start off with the hose pack. So it's a 42 pound hose pack. We throw that on our back. We run up those six flights of stairs. We get to the top and then we hoist that donut roll. So that's another 42, 43 pounds right there that we hoist. Then we come down the six flight of stairs and hit the Kaiser sled. After that, we go around the cones and we drag the charge hose line 103 feet, spray the target, grab that 175 pound dummy and take it 109 feet backwards and then you're finished. And an additional contest takes things to a new level. Well, they'll start with a stock saw event, which is a chainsaw event, one cut. They run to the front of the stage, they under, do an underhand cut, their lungs are burning, their blood's pumping. But what these guys are doing are mimicking a lot of the same techniques, a lot of the same actions that they would use in their job. After the final buzzer sounds, sawdust and water settles, the finest from Virginia Beach and around the world will still celebrate their bond. They're not so much competing against each other, they're competing against themselves. When you run this course, you get a chance to see, okay, how far can I push myself? The competitions continue rain or shine through Saturday. In Virginia Beach, Andrew Robinson, 10 on your side.